Hello everyone, I'm ExtraTZ87 and this is Let's Play A Trail of Cold Steel 4, a part 126. In the previous video, things got real and we came up with our plan for how to maybe stop Osborne. I don't know, I'm still conflicted on how close I think we are to the end of the game. Now, you know, plot-wise, it feels like we're getting there, but like my brain, my my heart says we're getting there, my head says we're not really that close. Because like we don't even have like all the stuff yet, right? Like we're still missing recipes. I don't know if we're missing fish. I mean we're obviously missing fish, but like I don't know if this is something we could have. Um uh, granted we'll probably one of these recipes is probably here. I don't know, I just um I'm I, I feel like we're not that close. Maybe. But I'm also like I don't really know what else can be done. Cause I can think of like there can be one other kind of big section I could think after this like fortress thing or I could see it being presented as like oh you do the fortress fight but then you got to go fight the great one or maybe you just end up fighting Rufus and Osborne gets away or something um but then and then you ask, ask the question of okay where's the real climax going to be because we already did the spawn some random thing out of nowhere uh ability I don't know who have we talked to it's also been like five days since I recorded this game last uh it's had to take a bit of a break from it, or I just couldn't record in general. Now, wh what do you want? Welcome to Lakeside Beach! It's not much of a beach. I mean, I guess it's... I mean, yeah. I was thinking Lakeside, but yeah, it is a lake. I don't know why I thought we were on the ocean. Pretty romantic this time of night, much more than it is in the day. Uh, you're a special ticket holder. You can have uh, two sparklers for each ticket. Time about you enjoy some sparklers with the beach. It's a perfect way to take in the lake. Sparklers? That seems like fun. This is a good chance to do some time with someone. Okay, so there's not actually that many options. We have 20 tickets? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't know, we had six. Okay, that must be the limited bond events coming in. Well, that's kind of nice that it... I mean, I guess it worked like that. Well, no, you, you still had to save and reload in the previous one, in CS3. They did give you a lot more tickets by default, but you still wasn't enough to see every event. I wonder if that's enough to see every event without saving and reloading. Because there was like, what, like six there and they said there's five events. So potentially, if we can earn some extra tickets. These handle fireworks are pure rocking. The strength, they've used explosives for mining more time than I can count. I never imagined they could be used to create something so beautiful. I mean, you guys didn't even get like a cool colored sparkler. They're just like fire colored. Beautiful is right. The sound they make going off is nice and the smell is oddly relaxing. Look like the Modern Music Club is having themselves a fun little fireworks show. These these kids are trusted to go run around and like overthrow the government and handle heavy weaponry, but like we're like, ah, it's sparklers. That's as most as you're getting. Ah, the fireworks, huh? Pretty sure I figured out how they tick. Indeed, I imagine we could make our own if we looked at them as an offshoot of standard munitions. Calm down, you two. Let's just enjoy the moment for what it is. Okay, so we'll save events for a later. Oh, this is fishing, maybe? No, it's a picture. Seeing those landings floating on the lake reminds me of the ones during Ordis' summer festival. There we go. Perfect. I should send this to Rex when I get a chance. Don't be a procrastinate. And plus, we're still missing Pom Pom Party. Like, we can't, we haven't fought the Ghost of Aryan Road. We haven't fought, I don't know, I don't know, in Tio. Who could the, I, I really can't think of who long name could be. Who's got a long name? That's important. Char where, where are my characters? I don't know, man. I mean, you got long names? Not really. What about you? Nightheart? You got like a long name. Your god, not Angelica or Margaret. Angelica's not that long. Yeah, there's no no long namers. Unless it's maybe like a title plus. I can see that, because like it's Princess Claudia. I don't remember if it was depicted as having spaces beforehand. What do you what do you do, sir? 
<sighs> Welcome. We'll let you bring any ingredients you want to our drink stand. Any ingredients. So why not cart your favorites on over and start your own original cocktail and enjoy a class? Just don't be that guy with the trident, please. Of course, you only permit minors to drink non-alcoholic cocktails. We're very strict on that. They set up an original cocktail, so they could be a fun activity to do with someone. Who would be interested? Oh, okay, this is a ticket thing. Now, did the stars mean that they're completed? That, like, you, you've bonded it up with them? We talked to you, right? Oh, yeah, you wanted to freaking... We've got to meet up with Tilly and the others later. Oh, by the way, you play Vantage Matches, don't you, Rain? How are you going? How you going to play the cards, million? How are you going to play the cards? I thought you can't. Aren't you a ghost? After combining them with the ones I got of use, I've got a pretty impressive deck. When you play when you got a sec. You got it. I'm one of them to take you on. God, I hate Spirit Millions so much. Uh, Why did you teleport me away? Oh, I remember when Million fucking sacrificed herself, and it was like a super emotional moment. Uh, yeah, you can play cards with her now. <laughs> Nothing matters. Oh my god, you are about to get... Okay. You're still gonna get dummied, but that's a pretty good first turn for you. Oh my god, you're such a piece of garbage. You're so freaking lucky. Okay, we got kind of saved there by the counter. Alright. Okay, we can play you here. Okay, so you die next turn. You, you put up a good fight. You, you behaved valiantly. Don't kill me. You only got two cards. You can't kill me. God, you're such a loser. Oh, this freaking oh, I'm gonna keep playing my Healy card and then rah, that's what you sound like. All right, um, are you dead? Yes. We didn't have that already? Oh, we got that from Kia. Or do we get the Healy things from Kia? <laughs> so exciting! Okay, you are... You copied my move. Is that allowed? You, you did the thing I was going to do? Unfortunately, ours is better. No heals. Okay, that's actually fine. What? Not really the play I would have done. Personally, I would have probably used my, my double action to kill the thing with seven attack, but you know, what do I know? What do I know against the great, the great Milster? Williams as loud and rowdy as ever. In the situation, it might be better for things to be lively tonight. It's just me, as you just actually starting to open up a little more. I guess there's always a silver lining, huh? Well, I mean, yeah, I guess. Oh my god, it's a big old freaking flagon! Got to Sarah, Sharon, what brings you two here? Alcohol. Hey there, Reen. Me and old Sharon here have a score to settle. That seems as good a time as any for a drinking contest. Oh no. Can we get Oliver in this? Well, now I'm sure there are many people who can outdrink the likes of me. Or oh, wait, I'm not sure? Yeah, oh, she doesn't know. Oh no, no, I, I am sure. Okay, she does know. She does know that Ina's out there fucking lurking in the darkness. No, backing down from this one. No backing down from this one. I don't rest until we know for sure. Now that I think about it, I wonder how I'd measure against the rest of the gals too. I'm kind of pretty curious myself. I can take a guess at how most of our friends would fare, but there's plenty of competition here this evening. I mean, there's Aurelia. And that, that's it? 
I mean, Shira, as we can recruit some more contenders for this contest of ours. Oh, they're drinkers. Yeah, I like the sound of that. I'd love to have a drink of Shira's art again, for one. And I really want to know how it's the Golden Rock Shasha can drink. I think you can be pretty invested in how this would play out. I could go ask them for you if you'd like. You sure? Then it'd be great. There's some guys like to square from this drinking arena, too. Okay, I mean, Oliver... Uh, I don't know if he can hold it, man. Who else could probably drink? I mean, like, I feel like Cassius can either drink a lot or nothing at all. Agat also seems like he can't drink. I think it's too messy if we brought in the field too much. You'll be our referee, then a lady drinking contest sounds like a good time to me. Okay, so just Aurelia, Shira, and... I think that's it. Anybody else drink? Who else? Who else here? I think those are the main two. I have some people here, but I think we need three or two or three more for a good show. You're really getting into this, aren't you? Yeah, this is right in your wheelhouse, huh? A lady drinking contest does sound pretty entertaining. We probably won't get the chance to all be together again like this, so things get really interesting. Okay, I'll help you out. I thought to some of the ladies soon they got a real taste for hard liquor. Great, make sure you invite the Silver Streak and the Rakshasha. I'll let you decide who the other competitors are. We'll probably the place and come up with some rules. And of course, assure there's plenty of alcohol for all involved. I can't wait. So I guess I should start looking for some contenders for the drinking contest then. Don't have to speak with both General Gwen and Sherazard. I don't think anyone in the old class 7 can drink as much as Sarah. I'll have to find some other potential candidates. I'll walk around and speak to any women who seem like they might be interested. People who would be interested in getting drunk off their ass. The door, the door that leads to the wetlands. I don't think I have any need to use it. Yeah, well, you don't think a lot of things, Rain. I mean, none of you really seem like drinkers at all. I mean, maybe Lucy, like as a subversion? What about Lucy? After all, being the student council vice president under Major Lecter couldn't have been easy. I mean, they were still underage, Reen. Remember, that's like a big deal. We have to bring up literally every single time alcohol is involved. I'm just like she might know her way around a drink or two. I should ask them if any of them are interested. Sorry to bother you, Lucy, but I wanted to ask you something. Reen explained. An all ladies drinking game, you say? Seems like you've got to hold your liquor better than any of us could. Yeah, you mentioned it. Remember that dinner we were for the security detail? People are offering you drinks left, right, and center, but you just seemed just fine after every single one of them. Oh, I don't really consider myself all that strong a drinker, but I do enjoy the odd tipple here and there, and you can count me in. Glad to hear it. We'll be holding the contest down at the beach, so just head on over whenever you're ready. I never imagined you... Okay. The same thing. Provel, you, you want to be in the ladies' night? Mint, you think you could drink? Mitt seems like she doesn't understand what getting drunk is. She just like would refuse to get drunk. If that makes any sense? And she just wouldn't let her body, you know, be corrupted by the alcohol. Oh, Drotterine. Well done, instructor. Yeah, you see what you could drink, but you're not an option. Oh yeah, I didn't realize you were here. And you're that girl from Mark and CL. I was in the neighborhood to see Zex and decided to catch up with Mueller. Along the way, this young lady helped us out of a sticky situation. It wasn't that big a deal, really. You could have handled without my help, so just hurry and forget about it. Uh, I'm feeling a little lost here. Apparently, Mother and Mueller ran into the Imperial Defense Force on the way to Michelin. Sally helped them to slip away before things could escalate. It wasn't anything special, I just worked with the PLA and the others to draw their attention towards the station. You also treated the public to a fantastic performance at your rehearsal. When I heard you were part of Operation Shining Sea, I knew I had to find some way to thank you. Won't you spend a little time with us so I can thank you properly? Well... Hey, sword boy, she's your mom, right? Say something to her. Nope. <laughs> Kurt is scared. Uh, sorry, why don't you go to take a likeness when it's not impossible to tear her away? At this point, I would just recommend playing along. What's the worst that can happen? If you like, I'll come with you and make sure things don't get out of hand. Okay, fine, I don't know about this whole mom thing. Can't imagine how any of them thought they were going to spend their evening. Well, maybe we are. Up until I became a Vander, I myself was quite the fan of blade dances. I was I seen Sully's dance puts you in somewhat of a nostalgic mood. I see, but what type of dance is it exactly? It's one with swords. It's not as acrobatic as your dancing, of course. I actually supposed to meet up with Sydney after this, but, well, we still have plenty of time. I'll continue staying with Muller and Sully for a little while longer. I say Muller? Mother? 
Tell became okay, you say the same thing. A and you. Hmm, seems like a pretty amazing person. There's something about her that's kind of like Ilya and Riksha. And I do kind of owe that guy. Maybe we gotta hang out for a bit before heading over with Pele and the others. Oh my gosh, so many freaking people, man. Rizel Vita? Duvali? Roselia? I don't know. I don't really buy any of them. I guess maybe Roselia, but unfortunately you're like a child, so uh, legally speaking, we can't allow you to drink, maybe? I don't know. You think that would count? Like, this, this, this is clearly a 12-year-old, but actually they're a thousand years old, uh, so it's okay. Better Nighthawk, you're here too! My question answers itself, Shorter. I know Craig ordered me to get the lay of the land, so I thought I'd drop by. After return of my duties come dawn, of course. So the knighty is here. Throughout the fourth division's where the fuck is Thomas? Where the hell's Thomas at? Throughout the fourth division's moving out tomorrow. This may be the last time we ever see each other. Come on, Mueller, don't talk as though we're marching in the jaws of death. We're both making it back. We each have our reasons that we can't afford not to, right? I can't argue that. Oh, there's Thomas. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you weren't Thomas. This is okay. That's just like I want to end the let's play now. That's like a, that's like a restart the fucking video. Pretend you didn't just spend 15 minutes just to erase that embarrassment. But this isn't Thomas. I want I want the real Thomas. You two are so cool. I can hardly stand it. Look at you, macho military men. This heart with manly friendship. You have to go and it's all too much. What? Mister Thomas, I didn't even ask. What are you even doing here? In it obvious, the former Thor's instructor, I really wanted to give my regards to my old colleague instructor Nightheart. Oh dear, did I interrupt a beautiful moment between these two? I did, didn't I? I can see it on your faces. N not at all. While you're here, Thomas, it might be worthwhile to go over your part of the operation as well. Oh, that's alright, carry on, just I'm not here. See, that's what I was just doing that. Yeah. Easier said than done. Can't resist stirring things up. I mean, I, I do wish he had, like, what if he had his old look? What if he just had his old glasses on? Uh, at any rate, it appears the 4th may start deploying tomorrow. May not be strictly appropriate for me to say this, Schwarzer, but I do look forward to seeing your tactics in action tomorrow. Remember what I taught you. Radio! Radio! Looks like Nighthead has plans to dine together after this, just the two of them. I've got plans with my frivolous fool of myself in a bit. Still, Thomas certainly seems to be quite f uh, interesting. Two of you have found that special someone, though. Well, what I wouldn't give to be able to say the same. You better make sure to take care of that tonight, too, Reen. I'll do what I can. Brasilia, that's a different look for you. Surprise, this is my true form. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that, that how you're going to be able to drink alcohol so, that, so you're not a fucking 12-year-old? Air within this barrier is rich in mana. And tonight's a full moon, which amplifies its effects even further. I'm truly in my element. Clearly. And you invited Duvali to come drinking with you? I don't use indulgent alcohol, but this is a special case. I wanted to drink a toast to my lord's memory. Leanne really could have put him away. In that case, it would be disrespectful not to follow suit. That goes to you too, Shorza. Join us for a glass. This is my lord's favorite herb liquor. The finest drink to ever come out of Legram. Uh, Leanne's favorite, huh? I'll be honest, I'm honored to try some. It looks like wheatgrass juice. Took the glass from Dubly and drank the contents down in one gulp. Who took the glass? Where's the fucking subject of the sentence, huh? Wow, the fragrance is really distinctive. It kind of tickles the back of your sinuses. Doesn't it just? I like that it doesn't go straight to your head to make you nauseous either. You can thank the medicinal effects of the herbs for that. What about the alcohol part? It's something like... I like something heavier for a night out, but this is a great little palate cleanser. The scent takes you back to 250 years ago, for better or worse. Michael's preferences are always for hard liquor, of course. I believe it. Uvali really doesn't drink much. Vita and Roselia, she is now, like, they can handle their liquor. <laughs> they really actually were like, we can't have her be a 12 year old, so she has to be an adult to drink liquor. I, I kinda, I kinda, I don't know how I feel about that. I might not want her to piss but I guess I might as well ask. 
you know how this could have been solved is uh, just not making her fucking 12 year old from the start. Sorry to interrupt, I have something to ask. Reed explained that he was looking for participants to take part in the drinking contest. A drinking game, you said that something could be fun? I don't, I think Vita's a lightweight. I think she just thinks she can drink hard. Well, what a strange thing to come and ask us. We were just toasting my lord. Yeah, I know, I was here. I didn't believe it to be strange at all. It's the duty of us somewhat more mature ladies to accompany young. It would be my pleasure to grace you with my presence. Will you come as well? Well, someone has to look after the elderly once they've had their fun. So I think I'll have a pass this time. Hey, I can all wild against a bunch of youngsters. Uh, so I can count on Roselia as a participant? Wait right there, Schweizer. I want to take part in your contest. Um, are you sure? Absolutely, my lord would say that it's important to take the time and smell the roses. I'm not one to run from any challenge. I see. How can she and see then? We're holding the contest at the beach, so please head over when you're ready. The herb liquor my lord loves so much, I never thought I'd find it here. As one would expect from a traditional flavor passed down over 250 years, it tastes truly exceptional. I mean, like, maybe, but I feel like it also probably tastes like ass, and I don't know. She was born 250 years ago, so that's just like they were built different. They're like, yeah, it tastes like garbage, that's all we got. The fact that I can appreciate alcohol, vegetables, and other delicacies in this form is an unexpected bonus. You, you can appreciate vegetables when you're an adult. Alright, let's make the most of tonight. When you're in that form, even your tastes are more mature. Get it? Because she's a small child when she's normal. Uh -huh. She only has all sorts of things in our world as the Anguas. Hmm, I'm going to miss that woman. Here's the success of the rehearsal performance in the joint issue of the Crossbell Times. Cheers! Cheers! Dude, that's what my work than I thought it'd be. I mean, we'd end up working across four different media outlets to get the word out. Bureau Chronicle, Crossbell Times, Bureau Chronicle Radio, Radio Trista, Sociopaths Anonymous, all working together. Must be the most ambitious crossover event in media history. I'm really grateful for all your help. Feels like a lifetime since we last got to put a new issue out. It was my pleasure. Get the feeling that censors won't be too pleased some of the articles though. Nah, yeah, we're fine. Between the war start and the whole Forbes situation, no one's gonna have time to raise a stink about our paper. Mmm, doubt. Yeah, whatever happens, happens. Size, can't we say the same about our little plan for tomorrow? Yeah, I guess we can. One more toast then to the success of Operation Ultimate Journalist. Cheers, cheers. I want to see them all in high spirits. I don't think I'd say I got a plan in place. Knowing these guys, it's probably gonna be something outrageous. Ah, where the hell did you come from? A lot of you from all over walks of life are visiting us today. Students, soldiers, journalists, and even some I can't place. So what are they up to? Can't say I'm not curious, but we're not playing to overthrow the government. Shut up. If only we actually were. Getting some, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised at them to be like, oh, you know, Osborne, you did some bad shit, but you know what? The Emperor appointed you, so it's not our right to put you in prison. Keep on ruling the country, buddy boy. I mean, that's probably what they're having on a fucking end this shit. I got no faith. Getting some booze in you after a hard day at work is pure bliss. And you're really enjoying it. You're barely old enough to drink. Be safe and make good choices, all right? Oh, don't worry, Rena. I know my limits. I only push a little past them when I'm trying to get Lynn drunk. I, I cannot approve of that. But you didn't object, neither. By the way, look at where we are now, the power corporation, huh? I'm really glad I joined the Imperial Chronicle team. Tomorrow, it's back to work writing mind-blowing articles that'll be everyone talking. I look forward to reading them. Have you, have you written any of the articles here? And plus, I wouldn't say any of them are freaking mind-blowing. At most, they're either like puff pieces or they're outright propaganda. I'm always gonna be critical for us if we're fine or in all cylinders. By the way, Radio Trista set to broadcast that special episode of the radio drama you helped us out with just to sort of set the stage. They're doing it tonight at nine. They'll be looking forward to it, Reen. If I'm looking forward to it, you mean terrified I mess everything up, then I'm absolutely looking forward to it. I want to give a listener something they can invest in and care about outside the war. This is one grand party, biggest one I've been since the Pantacle. I mean, that was only like, you know, five or six days ago. Pity we don't have any guests for other countries, though. There's plenty of eminent participants anyway, from a legendary witch to a prince who was formerly presumed dead. And while we're at it, would the Thors here like to make an official comment about the event? 
You mean me? Uh, if you're okay with a very brief one, I can put something together. Awesome, thanks. Tomorrow I'll be working on something in collaboration with the Imperial Chronicle. I'll take a short break first, and then sit down to finish my other write-ups. Don't forget about that comedy you promise. Don't worry. I gave in too easily. Oh well. I can like Grace have it her way this time. Reen's one comment, no comment, fucking got her. Can't believe we get to eat as much as we want and all for free. You, you, you guys get to eat for free? I've been I've been trying to get free food this entire damn game. Nothing. You all get to eat for free, but Reen doesn't? This is a real high class stuff and nothing on the menu's off limits either. This is even better than the party at Orkiest Hour. Is this heaven? It must be heaven. Are you sure it's alright for me to join you? Of course, we're all Thor students, we may as well be friends. You guys might want to cut the small talk. This place may be all you can eat, but our time here is limited. We got a big day ahead of us tomorrow, and we need to be f fully fueled up for it. Yeah, it's not we're going to get another chance to chow down like this. Alright, my body's going to need energy if I'm going to bulk up. I'm not entirely sure it's possible to overeat and keep any food in preserve like that. Uh, yeah, it is. I mean, like, not in the short term, but in the long term, absolutely. Maya's so fired up, but so am I. When Kai invited me, I imagined an informal dinner with a lighthearted atmosphere. I was really caught by surprise. I had a message from Sydney at my Arcus a little while back. It was an invitation to go with him and some others to visit the amusement park tonight. I thought it was a little sudden. They'll probably have plenty of fun without me anyway. Plus, I wouldn't want to, well, get in the way. I should at least text back to thank him for the invitation, I guess. So much I want to try, but there's no way I'll finish it all. Don't worry, I've got you. Order whatever you like, and let me worry about finishing it. Aw, oh, thanks, Maya. Now let's see. I hope this place is fully stocked on ingredients. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you, Cassius. I heard everything from Matthew. It will be a great honor to serve the Ashen Chevalier. You saved many lives in Crossbow after the conflict spurred on by your annexation. As a small token of my gratitude, I'll prepare some dishes using the finest ingredients available. For free, right? <laughs> uh, Matthew told me you were a jokester. You really don't have to do all that. I'm just glad I was able to help. I'll take you up on that anyway. Thanks. Okay, they're not bad. They're not like amazing. I'll take a freaking steak, man. I'll take a dang old steak. Yeah, what I want to do? Yeah, what recipe is that? Did I miss a recipe? We haven't missed a recipe, so we still need two. There's no other food places around here. I mean, there's like a stall in Michelin, but... I talk to you. So, so this is the Michelin everyone's always talking about. Oh, even the walls look like they're sparkling. No kidding, this place is amazing. Here they got all sorts of attractions and fancy restaurants to boot. So much fun to be had, I don't know where to start. How's about you come ride the horror coaster with me then, Lonnie? All the goods on the army's nose is back breaking work after all, and we've had a lot of jobs like that lately. That's what we deserve, some uh, coaster rolling, ghost knife, and stress, free, stress relief. Sure, I didn't even know they had a ride like that here. It was kind of bad leaving the boss in the mouth though. I guess we'll have to have as much fun as we can in their honor. Looks like the Mercabus crew still held up during their final inspections. So hoping they get to take a break or something, at least for tonight. I guess somebody, someone's got to do it though. I'll go deliver them something to eat later. There you are, good to see you. Her ladyship went up to the reception desk with some other pretty gals, which means us guys get to go have some fun. Anything out here? Okay, Balmar, we can't talk yet. Ah! Good evening, everyone. I have no events planned for at the wharf, but don't that stop you from enjoying the pleasant night breeze and the beautiful skyline of Crossbell. Please free me. City's getting real tense lately. I guess a Lumen War will do that, huh? Yeah, that's all we're tense. I just hope it doesn't accept Mimi too much. Ah, uh, uh, guy is help. <laughs> There's a fucking monster over there. Hey, Irene, come to check out the jetty? Yeah, I feel like I needed to cool down a little. Think you two did the same? Yes, yeah, although we didn't come together, we only ran into each other a little while ago. The city looks so beautiful at night. I used to love looking out at all the lights when I worked at St. Ursula Hospital. Now as as you made Crossbow your second home. I feel a little nostalgic myself. This northerly wind brings back memories of Nord. It feels familiar somehow. 
Is that right? Guys, listen, tomorrow's gonna be the greatest challenge you've ever faced. But we've gotta meet that challenge with all we have to protect every place you've ever called home. Agreed. And all the people we love. That's right. Okay, now I'm really confused. Are guys still in dating now? Or are they just really good friends? Rain? Are you still with us, Rain? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to space out. Either way, it's none of my business. The one that reminds me of home. I suppose I have two homes, don't I? I'll lay everything on the line tomorrow for both my family of four and my friends right here. Hmm. Maybe I should adopt Crossbow as well. Three homes. Guys like the sound of that. I didn't even work at St. Ursula Hospital for a full year, but it's still has a special place in my heart. Everyone has something they want to keep safe. That's why we have to give it our all tomorrow. I mean, Gaius adopted Erebonia after like two months, so... Not so bad. All Mimi ever wants to talk about these days is the SSS. She didn't root for Lloyd and them before they'd even actually made a name for themselves. Now she calls them superheroes, isn't that something? I bet she'd just about burst sky high if she were to see them here. Meow? There's a cat here. Hey there, little gal, are you hungry? Meow? That sounds like a yes to me. I think there should be a fishing spot nearby. Let's say we try and catch you something to eat. Alright, so we've been great so far. I can tell you guys have been living it up yourselves, huh? Yeah, definitely, but aren't you on the clock? Yeah, that's just how it's got to go. I've been swamped. I'm way behind on getting up to speed with all my contacts. Hang in there. It's nothing for you to worry about. Oh, and by the way, we got high hopes for Operation Shiny Steel on RN2. I don't want us to live through yet another tragedy. I hope tonight gives you the strength to put it into all of us. Thank you. Could he be? I'd kind of like to talk to him some more if the chance ever arises. No problem for me. Our security is airtight thanks to the barrier. I know we can rely on you. On for the Lieutenant General. Make sure the Director and Vice Director don't work themselves too hard, okay? I'd like to know more, but maybe I shouldn't stand around eavesdropping. Yeah, Valmar, I'm, I'm just, just gonna sneak right by you. It really is beautiful out here. Countless stars dotting the sky. And countless lantern, lanterns drifting the waves. Nothing like a few good casts on a summer night, huh? By the way, Annabelle, I wanted to thank you. Never expect you to stick with me all this way. Don't be silly. I'm helping you because I want to. You don't need to worry about me. Yeah, guess you're right. But, I still need to do something about what I have to do as a graduate of Thor's. This world of lazy lines and idle nights is worth risking anything to protect, even my life. What I'm trying to say is, this might be the last time we meet. Kenneth, all you're gonna do is fish tomorrow. Well, I mean, fishing's dangerous. What if I fall asleep and get all tuckered out? I'm sorry, we've been through so much together. But no one knows how this war will play out. You need to go back home where it's safe, first thing tomorrow morning. That's... but you... Kenneth... I can't. Huh? Like I said goodbye to you, Kenneth, I won't. I didn't stick with you all this time just to wish you a nice death. I know I was just here for the ride at the start, I don't have the same strong convictions you have. But here's what I am going to say. Something I never had the heart to before. I just can't fall behind you forever, I get that. I just promise you this, Kenneth. Promise you you'll come home safely, because... because... Because how else could we have a cross-continent fishing trip together? Um... You messed it up. You're supposed to tell me how you feel. I'm not sure if she's spying on this uh, tender moment. But I guess she didn't quite hit the mark anyway. Hey, Annabelle, I'm sorry for what I said before. I really do like the idea of a continent-wide vision tour. I work hard to make a reality. It's going to be a ton of fun. That's great. No, it's not. This is all wrong. Well, I guess I should be grateful he wants to come on the trip, but still... I can feel Annabelle's distress from here. I hope they still can figure things out. I don't always mess up when it matters the most. Such a pity. So a trip with Kenneth, just the thought has me excited. You sure do like this, huh, Reen? Tight lines out there. You sure do like this, huh, Reen? Tight lines out there. Looking forward to this. Gotta make it through tomorrow in order to keep my promise to Annabelle, after all. Oh, you'll be fine. Oh, I see fish in the water. Got a bite. <laughs> nice. It's the turbo crab of legend. I got it. 
Do you, do you want a crab? Okay, what if I could get you something better, though? What if, what if we got you, like, a... The largest honker? There! Got a bite! This is promising. Okay, that's not really the largest honker. If anything, I'd say it's... Possibly the smallest all. honker. There! Got a bite! Ocean? I need your largest nice. honker? I don't care if you don't think I, I can handle your largest honker. I can't handle your largest honker. Got a bite. Oh this my god. Promising. I got it. You know what? Puffer? That I mean I don't know if it's really rarer than the others, but okay. You don't want a puffer? Alright. Come on. I think I can get better than that for you, kitty cat. We'll give one more. There! Got a bite. This is promising. You're not a honker. You're the exact opposite of a honker. I got it. Yeah, one more. There. Got a bite. <laughs> nice. Oh, you're you're new. You're kind. Of, you seem like a real fish. Not bad at all. Some sort of as trout. All right. You want a trout? You go, little gal. Eat up. There we are. You like that, don't you? A Michelin Wonderland ticket. A Michelin special ticket. Uh, is this way of saying thanks, baby? Meow. Well, in that case, I humbly accept. There we are. You like that one, huh? Okay. But yeah, I do say it says 22 tickets up there now. I will say the the corner of the screen up there is slightly obscured by my mic, so I don't always see it. Did we, we didn't go in the doors, did we? Elliot! Well, visit the Craig. Checking out what the stores have to offer? Yeah, it's nice to get away for a little bit, too. It's been a while since Fiona and I actually got to spend any time together. It really has. I got to pick something out for you, some little charm to keep you safe. Fiona, I... Sure, I like that. I know what you're thinking, that you can handle yourself, that you don't need your big sister taking care of you anymore. But I still won't worry, so I promise you'll stay safe, Elliot. That goes to you too, Reen. Of course, I promise. Me too, you can count on that. Guess I make Fiona worry a lot. Maybe I should give her something nice to make up for it. It's a great idea, Elliot. Also, if that's a Fiona one, you're just now getting your one? This late in the game? It's nice that they care, each care enough about each other to give gifts. Does anybody else only just have a one unlocked? Oh, wait. Hey, Bridget, you're not, like, a real character. Also, you, I don't even know where you are. Granted, these could be stuff that we missed as well. Oliver, nothing? Nothing for the Allister? Claire, no one cares. Like, actually, no one cares in the slightest about Claire. Some of our clients' natural beauty rivals the spectacular beauty of our gems. The right gemstone here will highlight that elegance. Human hands can create brilliance. I don't... Really? You don't get anything? You're rich, lady. You don't freaking get a dang gift. Can I hand that in immediately? If you don't give me accessory? Oh my god, we are fighting. Again. An antique shell cameo. What a splendid gift. Thank you, Shoyzer. I've acquired quite a number of intriguing art pieces in my time as a noblewoman. It's like a fine addition to my collection. Okay. In <laughs> general. I had no idea you were an art collector. I picked this gift for you to thank you for all the help and guidance. Your chivalry knows no bounds, does it? Allow me to give you this in return. This better be like the fucking most crazy accessory ever. The Goldia bracelet? I don't know if it's right for me to accept things, something so valuable. The a fair trade for the cameo. I hope it helps you in your endeavors. So, wait, we're about to go fight the ultimate evil tomorrow and you were holding out on this? Like, if we hadn't given you a gift first, you would have been, like, consent to not give us a powerful artifact that would maybe make it so we didn't die? I'm guessing, like, crit and something? Strength! I thought it maybe like, a Goldia gem that would give, like, crit and accuracy, but... Orange of strength, that's something. And this... 
I don't know, it's like really hard to justify the like art stuff. It's it's probably I don't know if it's actually better. Like I don't know the damage calculations, how they work, if that's better than 400 arts. That might be better. Cause what is it, the thing you got from Roselia? It's probably equipped on someone now I think about it. That's why I can't find it. Or maybe it's not, maybe I okay, yeah, it is. I mean, maybe if you like, maybe with the Oberon you can make it work. I just feel like you just get destroyed by stat, status stuff. I think a time when you had to hear this. Seems Gleisenko has gone and brought out this place too. And so Hugo's here, going on about inspection and work and all. Well, as long as I'm in the neighborhood, why wouldn't I? We're re-examining our business policies, so we need to go to better grass and our subsidiaries do things. I got the tryout over here. And over the businessman, eh, Hugo? Businessmen or no, I'm glad to have you here offering your support to your fellow Thor students. I'm not. It means a lot to have you with us, Hugo. No, it doesn't. It means literally nothing to me. The feeling's mutual, and I'll be doing everything I can to help. It seems the least I can do after all I've put you through. I'm really to see you coming to your senses, at least, at least I know I was near wasting my time. It doesn't matter, not in that I can't even skip class and go to music part though. Don't tell me you're jealous, Becky. If your association lacks the proper funding and influence, you've no one to blame but yourself. Hey, so I was started with a fucking stall out in Celtic, and weren't born into the fucking large company. You daft twit. You wit! Who would be jealous of you, you mad numpty? I mean, sure, probably fun to break into live shows and merchandising, but Hugo and Becky make for quite the pair. Like, really, Hugo? You're not going to fucking acknowledge you have a massive advantage over Becky? This is why Hugo's bad and should be in jail for being a capitalist swan. Ah, <laughs> right, good to see Hugo's back in form, at least. He's in real help, too. Safe to say things uh, take a turn for the better starting tomorrow. This is my nut and I can't even keep slicing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not about to deny that Becky helped me out this time. That's why I'm allowing her to join me in this inspection. I think I need advice and likes to you. I'm doing just fine on my own. And also, like, you know, Hugo's gonna act like he's like a good, good guy for like suspending a uh, dude. We all know the reason uh, Wads was suspended. Because he was making too much money. He was making Hugo look bad. He even admitted that Wads alone, one dude, raised the profit margin of the mega global cor corporation by 10%. He was making Hugo look bad. So we got him fucking dealt with so that Hugo could still be the top dog. There was no philanthropy to it. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. You know, I'm actually from Liberal. I never thought I'd meet a bracer from Liberal here in Crossville. Not in my wildest dreams. I've always admired bracers ever since I was a kid. And here I am meeting Estelle, Joshua, the Heavy Blade, and even the Silver Streak. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but meeting them is the highlight of my life. This customer service isn't too bad when there are surprises like this. I really need to keep working hard, don't I? Who's over there? Oh, you guys are here. Um. Oh, yeah, definitely. I know your name. Edel, right? You're definitely going to be... I mean, we already kind of did the subversion with Lucy, but I feel like they're going to do it again with her. With the, oh, uh, the, like, calm, quiet character can get fucking crunk. Well, look, aren't those some familiar faces? Lloyd and his colleagues in the special support section stayed here with some friends a couple years ago. We looked after them back then and gave them a special day just like today. Hello, Reen. Good to see you so hard at work. Hey everyone, Emily, Theresia, I'm glad to see you decided to join us. At first I wasn't really sure if we should, you know, being such a huge conflict of interest and all. Then Supreme Commander Van Dyke had us reassigned to the Independent Raid Force. The what? We're a covert ops unit charged of taking down internal threats to the Empire at our own discretion. A vague description, admittedly, but one that allows groups like Ouroboros and Jaeger Corps to fall under our jurisdiction. In other words, it's a unit created to give us the authority needed to fight this battle. Those rules sound dangerously vague, but so long as they have you fighting by our side, I'm not about to complain. The fight is what we'll do. I've got to make up for the sorry state you saw me last in. We're going to give it our all to make tomorrow a major success. And we finally found a path we can believe in. We're more than ready to help out. Thanks, and we can count on you. 
That's right, this reconciliation is truly a beautiful thing. I hear a lot of other Thor's graduates in the army getting the same treatment. I may ought to participate in the operation too, it's shaping up to be quite the reunion. I can hardly wait. I wonder if any of them can hold their drink. I'll ask them if they're interested. Sorry to disturb you, but I wanted to ask you something. Re-explained. A drinking contest? I like the sound of that. But you don't drink that often, Emily. You get drunk as quick as I do, and Dr. Sarah will drink you under the table for sure. Eh, you might be right. What about Edel and Dorothy? It could be fun. I drink fairly well when we're out. Well, at least what people tell me. In that case, I think you'd be a good match for Dr. Sarah. I don't think you can expect much from me. I'm not good with alcohol. But it's kind of disappointing the guys can't take part. And the ambitions lowered, hands reach for the same glass, feelings long buried suddenly burst forth and blossom in a jovial atmosphere. You never change, Dorothy. Ha <laughs> So I guess I can count on Edel for the contest? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks. We're gonna hold the contest at the beach, so please head over when you're ready. I would expect nothing less of our dear principal. We have Thor's alumni in the military band, military data division, and even the intelligence division. I'm making sure we're connected with all of them for the operation. I know there's a lot of work behind the scenes. She's more intense than she looks. I really need to thank Supreme Commander Van Dyke. Now the two of us can follow the past we believe in. You can count on us tomorrow, though. Glad to hear it. Thank you. I got, like, I don't even want to hear about Van Dyke, if I'm honest. Dorothy? Do I even want to talk about we can slide right there? Seems that Hivel, Stefan, and Klein are also covering that special unit we just talked about. Back at Thor's, they were just boys. It seems since then they've become men. I'll have to hold a little reunion party when things settle down a little. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to lock down tomorrow's strategy as fast as we can. I know we've caused you guys a lot of trouble, but now we're going to make up for it. My heart's on fire just thinking about it. The Blazing Maiden rides again. No one calls you that. Angelica spoke to me earlier. She said watching your work is more beautiful than any painting. I was also words, but it's been a long time since I've been near someone so nice. Angelica's wonderful words have inspired me to work as hard as possible. No, no, that would, in real life, you'd fucking roll your eyes and say, get a, uh, you know, get a number. So it's not just music you're into, but painting and sculpture too. Town Altham has a reputation as a patron of up-and-coming young artists across Sutherland. Really, a love of the arts runs in the family. Truly really is impressive. You know, it may have been an inopportune time to say this, having recently attached you appearing at Thor's exams. I always felt as though your talents are wasted at a military academy, Mary. Well, I did consider becoming a teacher at the music academy at one point, but I wanted to reach out to people who didn't have such a ground in arts or music and teach them how fun the arts can be. You are a woman of singular focus, I'll give you that. I suppose that may be how you grew so fond of Makarov. You saw through that scruffy steer and discovered who he was deep down. Also, those mint. She had a lot of machinations that were laying in wait. Dr. Makarov, huh? You really do know how to see to the heart of a person, don't you? Makarov and I are simply moving at a snail's pace, I agree. What do you think, Wallace? How does their relationship look from a man's perspective? M me? Um, well, I see it. Makarov was probably just looking for a chance to take things to the next level. A chance? I like it's not place to butt in on a conversation on Dr. Mary's love life. On that note, though, I am a little bit curious about what's going on between General Gwyn and General Bardius, too. Guess that's none of my business. I've heard that General Gwyn happily downs wine and hard spirits, but I really can't imagine her drunk. Sorry to interrupt. Can I ask you something? Read explained. Oh, Purple Lightning volunteered me, did she? You got guts, I'll give her that. Th does that mean... Seems like a strong opponent. I don't sure be able to win, but it sounds like fun, so I'll join. That's great, thank you. We're holding the contest at the beach, so please head over whenever you're ready. A chance, interesting. Something unexpected needs to happen to make him open his eyes and see what he's missing out on. Something unexpected, like what? Instructor Mary's love consultation continues. Good luck, Instructor. Seems as though you have all seen at least a little bit of war. But today, it's our duty to put smiles back in your faces. Try to forget your troubles for now and just enjoy Michelin. I guess customer service isn't so bad when they're surprised like this. I really need to keep working hard, don't I? Young Master Patrick, allow me to congratulate you on your accomplishments in Eastern Erebonia. 
They're hardly worth congratulating. I merely assisted Lord Mateus and his allies in dealing with some unsavory characters. I'm far more impressed with what you've been up to, Celestine. Taking care of my father and his affairs has been no simple task. You flatter me. Compared to the Civil War, this is but a walk in the park. You deflect it, young master, but you really have matured. Though we can speak so casually about your involvement on the world stage is proof. In that case, Celestine, wouldn't it be high time you start calling me young master? Or do you still see me as a child? Ah, uh, well, I can hardly walk that back now, can I? Very well, Lord Patrick. I can get used to that. Lord Patrick. Yes. Yes. I'll be hand on you to take care of logistics tomorrow, Celestin. I trust you will not let us down. But of course. Looks like Celestin's finally giving me the nod of approval. Georgia, you best not leave yourself with any regrets tonight. Did you hear me? I uh, know. Thank you, Patrick. You slowly become quite a dependable adult. We hope to exchange information for the operation tomorrow. Do make sure you have a good evening. Anton! Whoa, there's a face that didn't expect to see. Well, visit Anton, what brings you here? So, funny story, I put in a request to the guild for info on Sharon. Seems like I got them falling up on a couple leads, and next thing I know, my buddy Oliver invites me out saying that I'll be able to see her. Uh, I see, so you're a friend of Oliver's. Yeah, got up to all sorts of stuff back in Lee Burrow. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you don't, you don't know that he's Oliver. I was like, how the hell do you are confused about, you know? Actually, I seem to be running to lots of people I know today. Grayson Lee Burrow, Crossville Support Section, and even Lucy, the exchange student who used to run the student council. Top it all off, we've got uh, all of you guys in the academy. Everyone's here. Wow, is there anyone you don't know, Anton? Well, I can't. You know, there's at least 20 of the people here. Anyway, she gets to search for Sharon. So nervous and practically shaken, but I can't let this opportunity pass me by. I need to work with the nerd to talk to her. I can do this. Good luck, Anton. Can we just, like, forfeit Reen's Bond event and just see Anton and Sharon instead? Is that an option? Hello there, can I help you in any way? If there's anything you'd like to know, please don't hesitate to ask. Okay, so that's most of this area done. Or all of this area? Oh, we didn't go to the other boutique. Hey girls, doing a little window shopping? More than that, we decided to pick out some clothes and accessories for each other. Actually, we could use an input on something, instructor. Nope. Don't you think Elisa's outfit is a little too demure? I don't care what she wears. I mean, her clothes have always been kind of elegant, but they're just so safe. I mean, you all have equally safe clothing for the most part. I told you over and over that soupy, soup, soupy, super showy clothes don't suit me. I don't know about that. I think it'd be great for you to branch out and find your own style. Please shut up, Reen. No one asked you. Really, Rain? There's no harm in trying something new after all. Now, into the fitting room with you. We're gonna put together a brand new outfit for a brand new you. Alright, we should check out some of Marriage Cross's new stuff. I can pick up my own underwear, thank you very much. And you got some interesting friends, Elise. Thought it was something really sexy. Oh, nice idea. I want to see something cute, too. I think we may try and add at least one thing that's a little more masculine. There's this music. Please look to me as your personal dress-up doll. I must admit, your sense of fashion is impeccable. Not many can match their outfit to the color of their eyes as well. Using black as a base color really adds a professional touch to the ensemble. I think you didn't ask your ensemble is just fabulous. But thank you. He looks like the Ashton Chevalier, but he doesn't look like the photo. Maybe it's just a close resemblance. I'm always looking for up and coming designers. The one to watch right now is Colette. She's a designer for a fancy brand. She's lacking experience right now, but I just know she's going to make me some amazing pieces when she's got some more training. Wow, I guess Colette's only made some waves since our days at Thor's. She's on the Arc Royale with the other main campus students right now, helping out with battle strategies. I can't wait to see how their brand develops in the future. Can part of the battle strategy be not being on a fucking train? Like, I just, I just feel like the train is just such an easy target. You're just gonna get fucking blown up, guys. You're on a train. You don't have, like, enough maneuverability to wage a guerrilla war campaign in a hostile country. It just can't be done. They're gonna set up a blockade. You're gonna go through and you're gonna fucking die.
Um, Machias? You're not Haas, you're not balloon guy. You're a pretender to the balloon throne. Hey, Irene, wanna go for a drink or something? You can come to my stars, make sure you settle your bill. Don't go thinking you get special treatments because you're regular. But wouldn't that, uh, never mind. You two open up a stall, huh? You got a problem with that? Gotta earn some extra cash to pay Cargo's medical bill somehow. Mike has been doing things, I figured he could help out too. I do have other responsibilities, you know. Well, it's after seeing how hard you worked to find Cargo, I figured this was at least I could do. I wasn't able to help you before, but I intend to make up for that. Machias. It all makes sense now. Well, hey, I know you got stuff on your own to do with fighting the government and all. So you can push yourself pretty hard lately for once in your life. Doing your duty is fine now. Just make sure you come home safe. We got everyone in the honest district worried sick. But got it. I never thought he'd say something so considerate. Who are you and what have you done with the real Patrick? The real Patrick's gonna feed your glasses to you if you don't shut up. Right, right. I'm not worried any glasses though. Let me buy you a drink later. Non-alcoholic, of course. Nice. Make mine a Gamgee ginger ale. I'm about to drink you under the damn... No one even knows that she's, just, like, underage. If you hadn't said it. Right? Like, I don't know. Seems kind of, like, weird. They could have gotten away with that. Like, I don't... Is her age ever officially listed anywhere? Does anyone care? Non-alcoholic. Nobody's gonna be under any tables. Underneath it all. You can tell how much Patchy cares about Machias. Everything depends on tomorrow. We've got to do our best so these two can keep their promise. I have the chance to talk to you about a lot of different people here. It's uh, quite enjoyable. It looks like when Patchy was traveling, she was taking care of problems everywhere she went to. She's really grown up since last time. I guess I've caused some gray hairs. Once all this is over, I'll buy you all a drink. Yeah, you've caused a whole fucking lot of gray hairs. Rin used to have a nice, brilliant hair, head of black hair. Then he met Machias. Now look at him. He's a wreck. So you gotta buy some or what? It's got a kid's hospital bills to pay for. Gotcha, what happened to your service smile? Uh, hell, Monkey, don't you dare start pulling a Cynthia on me, you four at twerp. <laughs> I'm still not wearing any glasses, though. Monkey has learned to give as well as he gets, too. Door's locked. Hello? I mean, you were such an amusement park aficionado, Luis. Last time I was in Crossville, I had an annual pass, so I pretty much know this place inside and out. It looks like Luis is giving you the grand tour. You know, we're planning on meeting up with Lauren Fee a little later. But for now, we thought it might be fun to spend some time with the current Thor students. I mean, we may be alumni, but we're really just following Luis's lead. Well, when it comes to Michelin, I'm a practical professor. Come on, you three. I'll give you the definitive amusement park experience. Three, you want me to come as well? Well, I guess it could be interesting. Uh, okay, let's go have fun, Celine. Kathleen gets to ride amusement park rides every day. I don't know. Do you think Celine passes the you must be this tall to ride? By the way, I thought I heard someone calling my name. Guess my imagination's running wild. Mishi's favorite food is honeydew melons. Not many people realize how discerning he is when it comes to food. I certainly had no idea. Who knew he was so bougie? Mishi's uh, favorite food is honeydew melons. Okay, nice. I don't know. It's, are honeydew melons that bourgeoisie? Here, Celine, I brought you some drinks. Oh my god. We know who the real Machete is. Oh, thank the god, it's about the kill out. Wait, I'm supposed to be in carrots right now. Not to sound grateful or anything, but you think you can pass it over without anyone noticing? Right, right, sorry about that. I think I just walked on something I wasn't supposed to see. Is that who I think it is inside there? How long is she? Never mind. I shouldn't be prying any more than I already have. The mystery's been fucking revealed. That was a close, I need to be more careful. I don't want to crush anybody's dreams after all. Me hee hee, hiya there. Hope you're having a me he tastical time tonight. Oh, me that. Keep up the good work in there. Glowing Mishy Tails. Get your glowing Mishy Tails on sale now. Is that like Slowpoke Tails? Wear one of these and you'll be envy of the park. Only one million Poke Bucks. The comparison would probably kill me for the curse gets a chance to. You're fucking lucky, Irene. Aw, oh, man, if we could have gotten you a tail. I would have definitely equipped it just for that comment. Alright, we'll go ahead and call it here, and we will continue exploring. I guess we maybe have everyone for the drinking contest now. So there's no exclamation points this way. But we'll finish talking to everyone first, and then we'll head back for uh, 
drinking and then get started on bond events the time loop potentially starts i mean i don't know we have so many tickets we may not have to do that much reloading but we'll see we'll see i'm extra she's 87 stay tuned for the next part and bye guys